Let's go get some good lighting. You look good today. You look good today. Oh my god. Okay. So today it's like 3 p.m. And we're going to the beach. Um, I don't know if we're going to Santa Monica or um, Hermosa. I'm not really sure where we're going yet, but it's gonna be exciting and I'm gonna take you along. Here is my outfit today. For shoes, I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear yet because we're going to the beach, but I don't wanna wear flip flops. So, I don't know. Quinn, what shoes do you think I should wear? I don't wanna wear flip flops because my toes are ugly. So I ended up doing a full outfit change because we're going to the beach, I want to wear long sleeves, but I don't want to bring a jacket. So I'm wearing this like large size H&M sweater, so it's like a dress. Hold on, I have a portable charger so this is difficult. But then if I raise my hands up, like it will go like this, so it's like a shirt. I'm wearing slippers. These earrings are from Brandy Melville, uh, the shorts are from American Apparel, and my shoes are from Aldo. the same shoes every single day so we're going back to Walgreens so I can get envelopes to ship some Camila merch to some people that ordered it when I went to the concert then we're gonna walk to the post office and then we're probably gonna hang by the pool when we get back ah it's so nice out I'm gonna dip my feet in the pool Quinn, are you gonna join me? Why not? Ah. <gasps> oh, it's cold. The pool water is so cold. Probably really. We're at the pool waiting for Quinn's dad to make um, burgers, I think, or maybe steak. I don't remember what he's gonna make. I'm hoping to get some sun because I'm literally so pale. <sighs> Cute. Brittany and I were fighting over the scooter. Oh yeah. You have to get another one. It looks, yeah. yeah. The scooter is so, it looks so silly, but like, it's actually so fun. You have to get another one. You have to get another one, preferably an electric one. Well no, if you get an electric one, then we'll fight over the electric one. No, I'm actually okay with taking turns on the electric one. Oh really? Yeah. It's like, uh, What's that movie with the robot? I need to get sunglasses. I'll be back. What's that movie with the robot? Red. Red. I robot. No. No, it does. It's like it rolls. Wally? Wally. Oh, Wally. Yeah. Okay, so right now, <clears throat> I'm currently going to get sunglasses because it's way too sunny. I literally can't even see my phone, like what's on my screen. Okay, I'm getting sunglasses and the reason why I'm not really talking that much is because I'm super awkward. Even in front of, even in front of Quinn. And I know that's weird because literally Quinn and I play the penis game together, like in public where you scream penis. 
we can do that together, but like for some reason I'm too nervous to vlog in front of him or his dad. Even though it's like almost three years together. Oh my god, bitch, you have so much acne. Let's take a look. I know it's not that bad to some people, but to me, there's so much right now. I don't know, I don't understand. I just realized I was going like this the whole time. That's cool, but ew. Okay, anyway, one sec, let me turn the camera. See, from far away, it doesn't look that bad. Anyway, these sunglasses, whose hair am I doing this? You can do these sunglasses, ooh, right? Or we can do, <laughs> the struggle's real. Or we can do uh, these sunglasses. Mm, I'm thinking the black ones. Mm hmm. Thinking the black ones. Um, these ones are from I think a place called Dynamite in Canada. I don't think they have it here. It's like garage. Maybe they do have it. I don't know. And then these ones are from Aldo, but I got them a long time ago, so you probably can't find them. You can probably find similar ones though. I'm going with the black ones. I think. Whoa, it's really dark. Let's do a quick outfit check. Ooh, the top is from Forever Twenty One. I think it was like. 20 bucks, which is kind of expensive for this little tiny thing, but it's super cute. The shorts are from American Apparel, but they're kind of expensive, but honestly, not that much more expensive than like Forever 21 or H&M. They're 55 US dollars, but they're really thick and really good quality. So that's my outfit. I'm probably gonna wear this again to see the Hollywood sign. Maybe I'll pick something else out to not be boring, but yeah. We're at the pier. Wait, you can't see the Ferris wheel from here. So we just took pictures down there and I think they came out pretty cute. Here's the Ferris wheel. Ooh. Quentin saw this girl who dropped her phone on the stairs. It didn't fall through like the holes, but it could have, it could have. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's like the Hannah Montana movie. <laughs> oh my God. I do not want to take my phone out on this. I'm going to go. So we're on 3rd Street, Promenade, and I got Starbucks. Mm. Let's eat. I'm starving. Yeah? yeah? Okay, we're going to Johnny Rockets. Johnny Rockets. So we're looking for scooters for Quinn, like the motorized ones. The electric scooters, we're looking for an electric scooter for Quinn. I can't ride one because I don't have a license, which is dumb. We're almost back at the pier. I wanna take pictures and vlog while the lights are on because it's like getting dark. I think it's like probably like 7, 7.30, maybe eight. And um, it's just really nice out. It's a little cold, so I had to zip up my windbreaker. There's so many palm trees. It's really pretty here, the beach. Anyway, so that's what we're up to. Johnny Rockets was delicious as usual. We got cheese fries and cheeseburgers and chicken tenders and milkshakes and stuff. It's so good. There's some dope houses. Look at that Barbie house. What? That's my castle. Whoa. This one looks pretty cool. It looks like a sand castle. We're back on the bus. On our way home got a great story to tell when I get home. Did you have a fun time? The scooters were really cool. They were really cool. But I'll, I'll tell you the story when I get back. Okay, so I just got back and I'm about to shower and probably end this vlog. But anyway, last short little story before I end the vlog and shower and take off all my like makeup and whatever. So we're at the Santa Monica Pier and we finally found the electric scooter for Quinn. And um, then we like went down to the pier where the Ferris wheel and like the rides and roller coasters are. So at some point I dropped my phone and like I wanted to take pictures and that's when I realized I didn't, have, I didn't have my phone. I was freaking out, I was panicking and I called my mom and since it's West Coast time and my mom lives on the East Coast, it was like... I don't know, probably like 1 a.m. so I like spam called her and then she answered and I told her to like go and find my iPhone and like tell me where it was and it was on the pier somewhere 
and then I like asked her like to ring it and I then I asked her if it was moving and she said it was and I was like that means someone has my phone because my phone's moving so unless it was in the ocean and like moving by the waves that means someone has it and I didn't drop it in the ocean because I didn't go far enough on the pier to go in the ocean anyway so someone had my phone and my mom like put a note on find my iPhone that was like call this number or whatever and then she got a hold of the man that had my phone and like then we called him and then he didn't really speak English that well I think his first language was Spanish we finally found the man and he just gave me my English he just gave me my phone like super easily he was just like here and I was like thank you so much and I was basically like crying because like he could have like went off with my phone and like did whatever he wanted and I'd have to like get a new one and whatever but he was nice enough to give it back and meet up with us it only took probably about 15 minutes from when I realized I lost it to getting it back but I was panicking like wow like literally panicking and I am so thankful find my iPhone exists because if it didn't I definitely wouldn't have my phone right now anyway that was my short little story more basically moral of, of basically moral of the story is zipper your pockets my windbreaker didn't have po like zippers it only had like a one little snap of a button and I'm always lazy so I don't like snap the button I am never putting my phone in that pocket ever again I'm gonna bring like a like a side purse or um, put it in my jean pocket like it never falls out of there so moral of the story keep your phone in a zippered pocket because otherwise you can drop it obviously anyway so I don't know if that's the end of the vlog but if it is thanks for watching and hopefully you'll subscribe and comment any like suggestions on videos what else you might like to see any beauty or fashion videos or just more vlogs um, any critiques for my videos like if you think I should do something better or if I should not do something that I'm doing you know you can put them in the comments I won't like get mad at critiques like I'm not I won't be offended anyway like I said thank you for watching give a like please subscribe and comment below and hopefully you'll watch my next video bye